I rolled into Atlanta. Stole the tags and almost out of gas. Loretta Lynn describes her son, Ernest Ray, as a beer drinking singer. That's the kind of voice that makes people cry, order another drink, and then put a quarter in the jukebox to hear him again. He didn't start out that way. Ernest Ray vividly recalls his recording debut. It came on a Loretta Lynn gospel album. I was 11 years old, my voice was just changing. And I had a real little high squeaky boy voice. You know? <laughs> they carry me in there and goes, uh, get stung, goes, someday I'll be strong enough to make the church bells ring. And I sing, someday I'll be strong enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. He's a heartache, looking for a place to have Sissy Lynn doesn't have to think back nearly as far to remember her first performance. It was just this year, on Mother's Day, when Sissy launched her career. I didn't know that Sissy was really wanting to sing. Her daddy brought her down to um, uh, Jackson, Tennessee, and for a surprise, he put her on stage and had been practicing with the band, you know, to surprise me. And she just stayed with me. Can't get rid of the kid at all. <laughs> it, was it intimidating at all to you to go out there knowing that the fame that your mother had? Oh, um, no, because I knew I had her by my side. It was scary, you know, it scares me. It still scares me, but I can look over and see her smile and I know everything's all right, whether I messed up or not. <laughs> she told me not to smoke it, but I did, and it took me far away. And I turned out to be the only hell my mama ever raised. That song overstates his problems. Ernest Ray Lynn never tried to give his mama a bad time. It was just that occasionally he tried to give himself too good a time. So in spite of his abilities to sing and play, and the fact he was the son of the boss, Ernest Ray once managed to get himself fired from the Loretta Lynn Band. Those neon lights were calling me, and somehow I just had to get downtown. Well, my dad fired me. <laughs> and what really happened, I told everybody I quit, but dad fired me because I got where I wouldn't, I'd lay out with the bus. I'd keep the bus waiting on me two or three hours at a time to leave and stuff. He'd be I'd, playing some place. I'd be in a honky tonk because I'm worth playing. So dad said, you want to play honky tonks? Here's your chance because you ain't got no job. <laughs> <laughs> when he finally staggers in, he begs a two four, give him one more time. It's been a long time since Loretta Lynn had to work the honky-tonk circuit. She has become a legend in country music and now plays the large clubs like Harrah's and Reno. Remembering her own early struggles, Loretta sympathizes with Ernest Ray's forced solo career, plus his added burden of being in the shadow of a famous mom. I don't think I expect Ernest really to sound like me. I don't, uh, I think that they expect, uh, if, if you're an, an entertainer and you've got, um, like, a, a son or a daughter, they expect, I think, a little much at um, the beginning. Ernest Ray has since rejoined the family band, deciding his solo career can best be built from the security of a steady job. Do you think about the time that you might... Uh split from your mother's show again, go out on your own. Totally. I'll starve. <laughs> I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, it's hungry out here. <laughs> yeah, man got a job, don't need to look for another one. <laughs> Loretta says since two of her kids are singing with her, she would like to record a family album, but they haven't had time to work on it. We gave them the chance to start. Yeah, I like the old. <laughs> all in all the same. Oh, no, no, no. Mama, Beth Ann, come here, honey. <laughs> Don't get her. We need you to sing in Mama's place. <laughs> you sing it with me. Yeah. I hear that old time hallelujah glory. I like the old Stop time worship of the Lord. I like the old time worship of the Lord. <laughs> well, we sang three different things, all three of them. Hell, surely we can get through it once. I like the old time reading of God's word. I like to hear 